All right, what up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, me and Car Keys. So today we are at my truck's favorite place, the gas station, which is probably my least favorite place. So with all the distractions that have been going on, I don't think anybody's realized gas prices have been going up. So about two months ago, gas was around 205 a gallon here in Atlanta. Right now, gas is 225 a gallon. And that's for a regular unleaded 87, gas is 225. So I got to thinking, uh, this truck, if you don't know, uh, this truck is a 2015 V6, naturally aspirated V6. And it is, also, it is also a flex fuel vehicle. So I haven't tried uh, E85 yet. So I figured, okay, if regular unleaded is 225, and as the sign said coming in, E85 is 209. I'm gonna try the uh, E85. So I haven't tried it yet. I haven't seen any videos of anybody with the F-150 that's tried it yet. I'm sure they're out there, but I haven't seen any. So we're gonna try it today. And as you can see, we're gonna do an experiment of gas mileage. We're gonna see uh, the difference between gas mileage and on 85, I'm sorry, on 87, and the difference with gas mileage on E85. We're also gonna do a couple of experiments and see what the difference is in uh, power and horsepower, because I've heard that they're, they're, that also makes a difference. So let's see. All right, so first off, I'm gonna show you what my gas mileage is now. And this has been me driving for the last, what, three, four, five months on 87 gas. As you can see here, I average 18.5 miles per gallon. Uh, on my last trip meter, it's averaging 19 miles per gallon. I haven't reset this in forever, obviously, but in the last, what, almost 2,000 miles that I've driven this truck, I've gotten on average 19 miles per gallon. Six eighty. Mm. All right. I mean, so that's actually typically what I would have gotten on regular gas. I'm not sure it was really anything different. Either way, we are filled up, and uh, let's see what happens. All right. First off, we're gonna reset our trip meter. Okay. There we go. All right, what's happening, what's happening? So it has actually been a week. It's been two weeks, <laughs> actually. It's been two whole weeks. Uh, two weeks and a day, to be exact, since we last filled up on E85. Now, um, first of all, horsepower, right? The question was, the, the experiment was about horsepower and MPG. So talk about horsepower, it's kind of hard to tell the difference. There is somewhat of a difference. There's a slight difference, especially when you hit it. All right, when you up in the higher uh, RP, when you up in the higher RPMs, you can feel a slight difference. It feels like it's pulling a lot easier than it was before, but it's only like a slight difference. And it was hard to kind of measure or to kind of gauge the difference between E85 and regular unleaded. So I mean, it's a difference, but it's not. It's not enough for you to say, all right, I'm gonna get E85 just because it's a slight difference. You understand what I'm saying? So, I mean, that's that's the horsepower difference. Um, as far as MPGs, all right, let me show you what we got. We were actually at 19, between 18.5 and 19 miles to the gallon. Let me show you where we're at now. All 
there we are. As you see now, we are at 16.5 average miles per gallon. That's the difference. <laughs> that is a difference. Uh, if we go to, where were we? There we are. Fuel economy, 16, as I said, 16.5. 16.5 miles to the gallon. And that's a, notice, that's a noticeable difference if you're talking about 19.5 or 19 miles to the gallon down to 16.5 now. So with that being said, with that being said, we're going back to uh, regular unleaded. Yeah, right back to regular unleaded. And it's only, it's, see, and it's, it's funny, you have to weigh the cost difference. Either paying what, I think it was 10 cents less that I was paying versus getting 16.5 miles per gallon to 19 point miles per gallon. So it's kind of like you have to weigh the cost, which one's more cost efficient. And honestly, uh, like I said, it's been two weeks. I pretty much run, I pretty much go to the gas station every two weeks anyway. So it wasn't much of a difference. It did last the same amount of time. It's not much of a difference. So yeah, we're going back to uh, regular and let it. filled up and it stopped at 40 4202 <laughs> but it stopped at so it's a little bit more than e85 was and gas is actually the same well on letters is actually the same price as it was before it's 225 i think it was 225 so one of the another, another thing i wanted to address is that e85 is not at every gas station like this gas station doesn't even have e85 it doesn't have diesel actually the only thing it has is, is unleaded unleaded plus and unleaded premium so that's another factor in that that's another thing that factors factors in to whether or not you should run E85, because if you can't find it at most gas stations, then what's the point? Alright, what's happening? What's happening? It has been two more weeks. And uh, I didn't actually plan on doing another video on the uh, E85 uh, experiment. But like I said, it's been two more weeks and I'm gonna do a quick re uh, quick update. Our gas tank is on E, as you saw, and uh, I need gas. And if you can see, gas prices are going up. So, I was, oh, so <laughs> the conclusion to last video was that I was going back to regular unleaded because it wasn't really a point for me going to E85. But as you see, gas prices are going up significantly since the last video, and it's only been two weeks. Gas now is $259 for regular unleaded, $259 a gallon. E85 is $244. Needless to say, we're going back to E85 because it's cheaper. It's still super high, but it is cheaper. In addition to that, I will say that it took me going back to gas to notice that there is a huge there was a huge difference in horsepower and it took me going back to gas to realize that. So it's also another reason why we're going back to 85. So yeah, a quick update. Uh, I'm going to fill up. Well, I'm actually not going to fill up because 244 gallon, I'm probably going to put, you know how we do. I'm probably going to put a good 20 in there and hopefully the gas prices go down. And uh, and the reason for the gas prices going up is, you know, every time something happens, there's a, there was a snowstorm uh, and it hit Texas really hard. And every time something bad happens in Texas, gas prices go up. And you know, it wasn't just Texas, it was the whole country, except for Georgia and Florida, except for us here in Georgia and Florida, everybody else was hit with snow. It was a bad snowstorm, so gas prices understandably go up. Um, and there's a mixture of things that, that's in there, I'm not getting all that. And there's a mixture of reasons why gas prices go up. So I'm gonna put a, get a nice little 20 in and hopefully gas prices go back down. Either way, thank you for, uh, Thank you for sticking with me through this whole E85 experiment. Uh, like I said before, it's kind of up to you. Uh, I'm doing E85 right now because it is cheaper. So if you like what you've seen, please subscribe, hit the like button, share this video. You know, uh, leave me a comment. Tell me if you're running if you're running E85 in your flex fuel vehicle. Tell me how you feel about the gas prices and how the, how, how are the gas prices where you live. Till next time, see you later.